Oh, and that popped off uh, very fast. Okay, <laughs> everybody, welcome. We're doing swans only in the turtle pack, so you can only use this guy, tier two. Uh, but yeah, all food is allowed, and it goes to the shop phase. If you find sloths, you're allowed to use those as well, but otherwise, only swans, please. And yeah, good luck. Good luck. I'm looking for mice. I'm just going to buy sell these instead of going for a combo, I think. Bye. Nah, keep going. Mice, please. Yes. All right. This be the Hairy Step Family, the perfect name. Okay, safe. Keep stocking up these apples. Uh, roll for the soft. <laughs> Did anyone get the dream turn one swan? No, okay. Expected, but I bet we'll see some next turn, which is... I mean, I guess not that worrying. At least in the sense that if I, you know, run into one of them, then I'm not going to lose any HP, but they'll be there. Alright, now. Now we doom roll for swans, so I can put these on something. Oh, I didn't even need to doom roll. He's already here. Thank you. Oh, second one. I'm ready. Um... I'm going to trust that I'm strong enough to not need a meat bone, and I'm just going to keep doom rolling for sloths while they're still, <laughs> still here, here and plenty. Naren, wait, you found a sloth? Is it visible, or have you only just found it? It's not visible, but that is amazing, and good luck to you. Okay, a win. Uh, hopefully that wasn't you, Aaron. <laughs> I think that was a single A. Wait, second sloth? What's happening? Uh, can I see either of them? Oh, there's one. Okay, there's Aaron's one. That was not the team I just went against. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations and good luck. Um, I kind of want to freeze Flamingo, but... I'll freeze a pill if it shows up. But yeah, we're just rolling for these guys. Oh, baby. <laughs> Um, mice are fine, but next time I can find salad balls and garlic, so... Now I will be ignoring them. I have my swan squad. I don't think I've ever got this lucky on the start of swans only, though. Like, two turns in, I have four swans. That's... that's good luck. There's so many mice, I don't know. I think I'll pill flamingo, because that's four gold. It's the same value. <laughs> Alright, let's just do it. Let's do both. This is 2 gold for 1-1, one, one, but pilling a flamingo is 4 gold for 2-2, two, two, so it's, it's the same. Um, let's try and make one of these massive for when I eventually get a garlic. Hmm. Okay, well I'm going to keep freezing these, because he's probably big enough to survive alone anyway. Can we see the other one? There's magic potato sloth! Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, there they are. They can barely fit on the same screen. That's great. Love a double soft lobby. Sadly, we can't steal any, but still cool. Another turn could only freeze one. Ooh, I hope that picks up for you. Like, Swans Only is one of the ones where it's, uh, you know, it snowballs. The rich get richer. Definitely starts to hurt if you <laughs> kind of join in too late. Come on. One garlic, please. I'll take that. Ah, oh, leave the mouse now. I keep buying salad bowls, but... Yeah, I need to find other things here. I don't know, there's a lot of meat bones around. I think it may be worth having it on one of my smaller ones, but I think... I think I could get some... Um, better results just by spamming stats onto these at the moment. And, you know, defensive equipment if I can find that. Like, melon on here would be great if I don't find garlic. I'm debating whether I combine swans or not, though, because there's always there's always some value to buy selling and pilling things, but maybe I just stick with what I have now. Yeah. <laughs> um, debating combining because it's like similar value plus I get C a tier five, which may be a cow, probably not, but there's something to it. A cow, brilliant. All right, let's spread out the stats a bit. 
shuffle in case someone has chili somehow. Don't think it's possible, but <laughs> you never know. And there we go. There we go. We have garlic. That's so brutal. He's too big. Uh, if I saw rabbit, I'd only get two... Well, I get three triggers out of it, depending on whether the salad hit this. Which is not bad, but I think I'm going to leave it. Buy these. I'm going to buy this after I buy the random other food, because I may still combine that into something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is still very nice. Up to five turns your third swan. Ouch. Alright, I'm happy to see this. Oh, heavily fortified sloth. This is just a frontline sacrifice. That's the way I use sloth. <laughs> I just, like, stick it with steak or something. And just have it at the front to try and get it. Get some value by popping a shield or something. Alright. We have another combo. Throw it onto the large one. Can't use either of these, sadly. I mean, I could buy a dragon and then do some buy selling, but I don't think it's really worth much. I don't know. I don't think I need chili. I just want more stats while I'm here. And levels. Love levels. Nah. Nah, we don't need that. Alright. Shuffle again. Maybe could have frozen the turtle, but I think I can wait. We'll just try and find natural melon. Like, <laughs> three level twos. It's the dream swan stars. Okay. There's another cow and swan. <laughs> it's just, it's just perfect. All right, start making you big as well. Um, yeah, I can throw it to the front in case other people are running, whatever it is. But I think I'm good. Don't hit this. Thank you. This is great. Okay, we're gonna have four level, <laughs> four level twos next turn. Still basically don't have equipment. So I have one garlic and I haven't been buying other ones, but again, I don't think I need it. There are some teams where I may need it, but against a lot of these other things, I can probably still stomp them just with this, and if not, then these guys are pretty big by themselves. Trade, thank you. Watch out. Oh my god, they're everywhere. It's actually just giving it to me now. Uh <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm still not getting anything from these combos, but the swans, the swans, they're everywhere. Okay. Try and spread these out. I don't know where to put this. Stack onto one of these, maybe, because I, I still think I want to have an open slot for buy selling in case I find cows or mammoth to pill, maybe, or even a black cat. Like, there's things I can do there. So I'm going to stack it there. Continue to roll this. Maybe steak one, actually. Yeah, it's steak you, throw it to the front. Because I can still just combine that into something else if I really need to. Stream for what's after. No, I actually need to get ready. I didn't realize how much work I'm going to have to do before I um, leave for my holiday. And yo, I lost. I do need equipment. You know what? Nah, I'm locking in. We're sticking with the team. Oh. <laughs> Why? Immediately. Okay. I will keep buying a lot of these things, though. What's the play here? Do it this way. I'm really afraid of accidentally combining something, because doing that would cost me a lot of stats. This one wouldn't be so bad, obviously, but... Yeah, I'd rather... I'd rather not. Alright, let's level up the baby one. There's no reason not to do this. He's staying. There's the cat that I thought I may do some buy-selling with earlier, but we're good. We have money. And I wanted melon more than anything, but like... I guess. I guess I can keep taking steaks. Yeah, as long as I'm finding food as well. Like stats, that's the important thing. Since you're going on holiday, will you stop streaming or just stream whilst traveling? No, I'm not going to be streaming while traveling. I have to... 
To be honest, I don't even know how people do um, IRL streaming stuff, but I'm not even a face cam guy. No, I'm just going to be away for a few weeks. I'm only going on holiday on that specific trip for like seven days, I think. But then I'm getting back. We're going to be having like a family weekend at home. Oh, sorry, the week at home. Um, and then we're going for like a little three-day trip on the next weekend. So I may stream during that little bit that I'm home again. But that'll basically just be the Wednesday because I'll be leaving on the Friday and coming back on the Monday again. So that'll be another couple missed. There's another cow I can't buy. And yo, so much food. Where do I put these? This? Hey, a level. And melon, great. Alright, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to leave the steak because I'm trusting that I can find another one at some point. Just run it like that. And is anyone else stronger than me? This person is similar. They're missing like a level 2 compared to me. There's a load of teams that are all like level 2s though. Magic Potato is still in it. Oh, did the other soft die? It did. Alright. Aaron's one is dead. What will you watch while I'm on vacation? I'm going to try and set up a load of stuff for the, the archive channel at least. So <laughs> that'll be something, but yeah, I won't be able to stream. Uh, pain. All right. Start up another one. Yo, the stats. That was a good turn. Also saw a lot of things that I wanted to buy that I couldn't. I, you know, cows and cats, but yeah, this works. It's robbing all your swans. Uh, don't look at me. I found these. No, they were gifted to me by the queen. Just kidding. Just kidding for obvious reasons. Okay. I'm gonna leave the melon. I think it's probably better than having the stuff I currently have, but I already have decent equipment. So let's just yeah, let's just go really hard on getting these built to level three and large. Yo. Yo. Turn 16 almost maxed out my swan levels. Do I like fireworks? They're okay. I haven't been to many big fireworks show things though. Hey, little cow. I don't know. Fireworks are right. I think it's always a case of... I never really understood why people film it. <laughs> but I don't feel much of anything, so maybe I'm just weird. Yo, there's another level 3 next turn. We're getting so close. The seven one, swans in like 7 turns and haven't gotten any since. I don't know when your 7 turns started, but in a lot of cases that isn't that bad. At the moment I am just going crazy because I have so many high level swans, but yeah, just having like 4 swans so you can get stats onto them is pretty big. Because then just lucky rolls, you know, getting, um, rolling into good food or equipment can make a big difference. There is my level. Continue rolling anything that isn't stat food or <laughs> experience. Yes. So close. I don't know. I'm never going to get these all to 50-50, so I might as well... I might as well target these more than I have been. I've been trying to keep it even, just in case I ever get to the point where everything is getting way too big, but... Yeah, I really doubt I'm going to get to the point where I'm afraid of what a pizza's going to hit. Oh, that could have been a win. <laughs> that definitely could have been a win. Alright. Hey, there we go. All level threes, the capitalist dream. Yeah, we don't even need chocolate anymore. We're done. No targets. And I can't afford these yet, sadly. Uh, but that's looking good. I forgot to swap these around. I noticed that last round, and <laughs> I didn't do anything about it. Still, I'm probably... I've got to be stronger than most of these teams. Almost everyone has an empty slot, but I wonder if that's working for them. Because, again, it doesn't mean you can pill um, mammoths and buy, sell cows and stuff. Pretty cheap stats. Do I eat shoelaces? I'm assuming you mean, like, the sweets? But, no, I don't like those very much. 
I do like sherbet more than I should, so I do have, um... When my sisters bring those sherbet lace things into the house, I end up eating some of those. But, yeah, no, not the biggest fan. I keep rolling these, but I, I don't know when it's worth to buy one. Uh... I think I'm good. I, I don't think it's necessary. Right, so I already swapped those two around. I can swap these two as well, maybe. Should have swapped those two one more time, but that's pretty good. And can some of these be... <laughs> can some of these be wins, please? I, I'm scared I'm going to hit infinite draws at some point. All right, I'm going to give that to you, and I'm going to try and find a melon. Or I'll, I'll buy the next one that shows up, at least. Yeah, all right. Uh, probably not you, though. Stick it on here, maybe. Put it on there. We'll take that one. What do I need to worry about? Like, there's still people running chili, and I could maybe try that later. But... I don't know. I think that's more of a play when you have things that um, are big enough to potentially one-shot someone else's big thing. You looked into the future and it doesn't give get to infinite draws, so don't worry. Oh, thank you. These ones are telling a different story, but I want to believe. So many cows. Alright. Give that to you. Yeah, very careful about not accidentally buying pills. That's just Kino's life advice for the day. Uh, but yeah, next lobby, I don't know. I wrote it a list, so like we may do like Middle Mantis or something in the weekly or symmetrical teams, but yeah, we'll we'll talk about it when we get there. Hmm. People are losing HP. I'm just not the one doing it. No, oh, it hurts. It hurts rolling chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. If I, if I run chili, it won't do much for me. Like, this is the only team where I'd actually have a benefit. Unless I put a chili further back. Which, I don't know. There's something to it, but I'm not going to do it yet. I just want to make my, my team large first, I think. Yo, I'm getting pretty good snap food luck. You're almost capped out, which I'm kind of afraid of. Uh, the rest of these... Let me try one at the front, see if that makes a difference. Again, chili doesn't really bother me as long as um, the things in the next couple of positions aren't meloned up. Oh, I've got a double trade. That's huge. Nice. Okay, four remain. Four remain, we're making it. Like, you... I don't know. Like, it barely can't kill this one. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let's keep rolling for stats at the moment. No. Okay. Well, against this team, which is the one I won against last time, I'm definitely good. I'm pretty sure I'm safe against this one as well. So this is one I'm less sure about. So I may put this one at the front, because it's smaller than this one, but it's still big enough to kill everything but the near 50-50 melon guy. And I'd have to double trade into that either way, so... I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Good, okay. Bye. Stop baiting me with chocolate. <laughs> I can't touch it. Um, I guess you, because everything else is almost capped out. So, like next pizza I buy, I may start wasting stats. Or rather, we have been wasting stats for a while, but eh, you can probably have that instead now. You are extremely large. So positioning, we still have to deal with some chili pets. Like chili pet on a sorry chili pepper on a small thing makes a lot of sense. But I currently don't have small things, so I'm going to try to position to try and beat this the best. I don't know what I'm going against. They all have chili in different places. I'm just going to set it this way. Ooh. 
That's still a win, never mind. I got worried because it wasn't a great trade at the start, but worked out after. I love starting with <laughs> 25 gold a turn. Take that. I don't know. When do I take this? They're still running a lot of chili. Leave it for now. Leave it for now. Try and make the small one larger. And I may stop buying brisket. That was kind of wasted. <laughs> I don't know. Buy one more. Like, I'm going to have to try and get these things to 50-50 at some point anyway. Like, 50 attack is a break point that may matter. Obviously, I want to target anything on this. But I don't know what the best positioning is for most of the rest of that. Maybe do it that way. Favorite type of Christmas tree? I don't know. Okay. I got out chilied, but my team is bigger. Good. Oh, there we go. It's just me and this person left, so I'm probably good. Okay, you're maxed out, which is great. Um, I'm just going to buy a cupcake. There's probably not many more turns. And I, I don't know what they're going to do. If they shuffle around the chilies, then I don't want to replace equipment. I guess I could have my own chili. Because it's already very large. And No, no, we just need, like, pears. I'll buy apples. It's the only thing that matters. Alright. Okay, positioning. Um, I could have it here, maybe. I have no idea. Like, I don't know how they're going to shuffle their team. I should just send it. it doesn't make a huge difference. The only positioning that <laughs> matters is where this is, because all my other pets are exactly the same. Nah, we're good, though. Hey, it's one victory. Everything maxed out, almost. Don't look at this guy. I'll just paste one of these guys over it. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. GG's. Fun game, fun game. Okay, everybody, welcome. Uh, second lobby, we're doing even tiers only in the golden packs. So that means you can only use pets from tiers 2, 4, and 6 when you end your turn. Other than that, all food is allowed, and it goes to the shop phase. If you find a slot, you're allowed to keep it, etc. Um, I don't think there's anything that's specifically good to get combos with. I guess the possum is, potentially, as <laughs> compared to the rest, so... I don't know, I may roll for that. Otherwise, I'm just kind of rolling for a slot or something. No. Fine. Yes, okay, at least I got a combo. So I can get an early thing. It won't be big, but it will be there. And just as a reminder, guys, it is tier 2, not like level 2 with stuff like that. So I will be combining and selling this. Let's get going. I do wonder if anyone got something early. Uh, <laughs> Stoats. Stoat has potential. Uh, but it's not good until the end of the game, so I think I'm just going to take this, because I can also sell that for value later. Plus, it has better stats, so I like it more. So yeah, we'll take that. Alright, tier 2. Uh, Lizard. I actually really like Lizard now. Lizard's pretty cool. Uh, put this on here. I think a cherry's fine. I'd rather just find more. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'd rather just find more tier 2s, but, you know, no guarantees. Don't mind having a uh, chair on everything anyway. And yo, there were loads of early combos. Yeah, what? How did so many people find combos in the first? Because <laughs> you basically have to find the combination on the first turn. Because you don't have any gold to spare after that. I'm really surprised there are this many. Damn, okay. Either they nerf Lizard would have preferred it to be tier 3. Oh, it has limited summons now. Hmm. Thing is, it's not, it's not a nerf. Well, like, that part is. But the fact that it gets a trigger even if it dies is pretty big. I'm not going to take a chocolate cake. <laughs> I think I'm good there. And combined stoats. I'd, I'm probably not selling them individually, so yeah. Try and level that up. I'm going to try and keep this thing at least until tier 4. I may have to get rid of it after that, but yeah. Oh, did I hit my headset? It's really quiet now. And that is a win, nice. Yeah, these are doing a lot of work for me. 
and no I, I still need to buy these actually yeah <laughs> so i was thinking oh i don't want to buy this but yeah level three doesn't really unlock much for me because there's no buy cells or you know things i can pill so uh yeah take these i guess yeah take that anyway all right and yo <laughs> Okay, I think next turn, I definitely level up the Hercules Beetle, because leveling it means I do get to see a tier 4, whereas if I wait a turn, then I see a tier 5 and can't use it. But I don't think I'm going to go for level 3 beyond that, so I think I'll just buy, buy this and then have more gold to roll on tier 4. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that's a draw. Never mind. I thought that was going to be bad. All right. Let's get the level. And... Falcon? What else would I be going for? I think um, Poison Dark Frog Slug could be pretty fun. But I don't know. Falcon could just be very, very good if I can make it large. I just don't know how I'd make it large. I'm going to take the Slug. Okay, I'm going to combine these. It might make me kind of weak here. I don't know why I thought I could buy, like, my tier 4 and the other thing, but that's fine. And, yeah, send again. I don't know how much order really matters here. Like, I want something small behind the sea urchin, but everything else is probably more or less fine wherever. Oh, well, now I have cherries in the back, which is not fine wherever, but... <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, okay. Okay, there goes an HP. Slug. Do I sell something or just combine? I think I'm going to combine. Let's stack that. Falcon. I really want to get a combo before I start, like, selling things. But I don't know if I can survive on this team as it is. I can sell you, I guess. Yeah, because then you'll get a double trigger. Which is kind of nice. Don't really care about the rest of this. That's a combo, but I will wait on it. Lettuce is stats for those two. I think I do that. Right. Okay, let's do something like that. I need to make sure that the cherry things aren't right to the back and Falcon isn't right to the front. Other than that, again, probably mostly okay. A. Yeah, new Falcon's pretty good. Triggering on death is just not always a guarantee that it gets a free summon, but it's, it's pretty nice. Slug, there are so many good things. I need to wait on the combos, though. Alright, let's banana you. I'm just going to buy the avocado, I think, and then leave. I don't really care about the Egyptian vulture here. And I'm probably just going to end up selling these. Also, I have more money than I thought. Alright, stat those and leave. It's fine. It was that or just rolling and hoping to find one of these three. Because at this stage, I don't even know if I'd buy, like... I'd probably still buy you, but most of the rest of this, probably not. Manta Ray would probably be pretty good. And yo, Sean, congrats on the sloth. Not sure when you found that. Okay. That's a loss, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and keep this thing around until the end, though. I want at least the stoat to get some value. Island Cow's pretty cool. I need a way to scale it, but maybe. Catfish. I can't do Catfish Bluing Doctopus, so that's definitely a no. So I guess I just buy sell Oyster before I buy some other thing here. Um, let's get rid of you. Yeah, I'm buying this. Buy that, get rolling. Uh, I don't know. No, you're good enough. Oh, come on. Keep rolling. Show me this guy. Yes, good. I me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know whether to level the Falcon or not, because I'm going to have a little bit of free money next turn. Emphasis on little, but... Yeah, I don't know.
All right, so do I level the stoat or do I level the falcon? Because I want to sell the stoat next turn. I also don't even know if I can get the man trait or not. It's just a way to get stats. So I was kind of like, oh, I need to go for this. But I kind of don't see it happening. I'm going to buy sell you as well. I really don't know. Let's just level this. Like, you're, all, you're also just good. Yeah, let me stack that there. We'll just ignore the rest. And I may just... Like, it's, it's too likely to miss in the first place. I'll just sell the stoat, I think. I'll roll a few times, but... Yeah. Hmm. Eh, I mean, that works out fine. Nice. Nice. Still doing well. Reasonably, anyway. Um... Do I take the risk? <laughs> it could turn into something awful, but like a free level, you know, free thing here. Oh my god, it's awful. <laughs> Why does it have to be that? Fine. Um, Pteranodon, is there any value to this? I don't think so. Not with all the tier 5 stuff gone. Like, I can use it with Slug, but I'm really not that bothered there. Um, let's, let's get these. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we have a level up at least. I need to try and find scaling from some source. And I don't know if that just means get a um, bird of paradise, but not have any money generation. But yeah, this guy is staying, and so is the Cobra, I think. And I don't know, maybe one of those? <laughs> oh yeah, we're going all the way on that. Okay, get rid of this. You're not getting bored. Stack these. And buy pretzel. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. We can probably take a banana as well. Um, I'm debating what I put on here, though, because an onion would be best, I think. Depending on what I'm running. And where I'm running them, but... Yeah. Let's leave this. Let's roll. Okay, you're good. Grizzly bear's fine. Potentially better than Falcon, but I don't know if I can afford to get rid of two things. I really want to find um, Blue Ring Doctopus at some point. That can go on there, though, and I'm fine with that. Oh. Yeah, protection. We can't kill the bear! He's too strong. Ouch. Okay, very close fight, but... Oof. Alright, combos, please. Cobra. Uh, I'm just going to level the Cobra over <laughs> buying this, I think. And yeah, go for level 3 Cobra over the other thing. I'm not going to be investing in the Falcon anymore. Um, I don't know, I'm getting pretty strong though. Those are 7 damage snipes now, they're going to scale pretty fast. Sean is still running flawless. Very, very nice. There are so many bears, oh my god. Maybe should have taken one of those. Three squad. No scaling hurts. It does, yeah. Especially when half of my things are any good when they scale. <laughs> like, the slug is the only thing on my team that doesn't need to be big. Alright. At least we're getting good, good value out of this now, though. Hitting pretty heavy. There are so many. Alright. Take one of you. You're off to faint, right? No, friend hit attacks. I still don't know though. Like, will I get more triggers out of the slug than Highland Cow with Pitterbreds? I'm not very big. There's a handful of things that are big enough to one-shot this, so I I don't know how I should feel there. I'm just gonna do this. I'm leaving this at the back because if other people have um this tomato, then it's just kind of <laughs> free stuff for it. I will try an onion on you though, because I can have Triple trigger with the slug, you know, potentially more if they get multiple hits in, and then I can teleport it behind this, which is both triggers for this guy itself, plus the dog we summoned, so hopefully good value. It's going to really suck if it gets <laughs> killed by a snipe, though. Hey. No, my sniper died. We're fine, but I'm upset. Sea Lion. Maybe I should have taken Sea Lion. I was hoping to find Bird of Paradise, but it doesn't exist. 
Spirit of Paradise. Spirit of Paradise. Is it too late? It's never too late. Let's get this guy. All right. Let's do this. We roll. Um, I don't think I'm selling anything anymore. Like, I like this slug for the cobra. And what about other things? Like, do I potato you? Probably not. I need, um, yeah, tomato there or you, maybe. And then I don't know. I'm not going to try and level this, though. I think slug really doesn't need it. Everything else does. No, they don't have snipes, so... Oh, they did, actually. That was the bear, but... Either way, he wasn't going to one-shot my Cobra, so I was probably okay there. Would have taken a long time to get multiple hits in like that. Um, I'm going to throw you to the front, I think. Let's get the extra, like, backline snipe off, and I'm just going to buy these. Okay. Where to put the chocolates? Scalar is probably most important... But it doesn't do anything immediately, and if I level you up, I may find a bit of paradise from the combo. So it feels kind of weird. Sean lost some HP. Yeah, we're kind of running out of HP in the lobby, so I don't actually know how much value I'm going to get out of this. Because again, I don't have any money generation. There aren't many people running them, to be fair. Like, there's a couple of level 2s there, but they don't have any, any extra money coming in. That I can see, at least. They may be spam buying avocados or something <laughs> I can't see. And that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Wait. No, that's still bad. Okay. Like, 10 attack off. If I can get another snipe out somehow, then maybe. I'm on 1 HP. I don't think I can afford to do that. <laughs> like, fine. And I still don't know how this works. If I banana the slug, I don't think I'm guaranteed to have the monkey spawn in front of it. Like, it may spawn behind and then mess up the cobra. So I'm going to ignore that. And I really doubt Pit Red's going to be a either, so <laughs> I'm just going to leave that behind. Okay, that's something. We have um, Bird of Paradise to double up if I'm not dead, which I might be. These trumpet bills are weird. Wasn't expecting to see something like that. I wonder how that's um, going for them. Okay, the bear is dead, which is excellent news. News. But I think I might be dead as well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We made it to the end of the game, and I got a lot of levels. Like, almost had three level three tier sixes, which is pretty nice. But, yeah. All right. GG's. Good luck to the people still remaining.